Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ragnamod, where I tried to zoom in on my face and remembered we don't have Optifine. Um, this is brought to you by our sponsor, uh, MC Pro Hosting. They host the server that we're playing on and they can also host one for you if you're interested. If you check out the links in the description of the stream of the YouTube video, you can grab yourself 25% off your first month of hosting. Give it a try, see how you like it. Play some Ragnamod yourself or do vanilla Minecraft or they offer other games as well. So many options available for you. So thanks to them for sponsoring so um how's life everybody it's all right Again. it's all right i, I see uh, the new hairdo life you. must be going thank pretty unexpectedly for you it's it's great actually i I'm, I'm enjoying it so um but i i worked on this area a little bit and and tried to delagify it a bit even though we're oh you were able to do some some I mean, work on it okay I, it definitely feels better for me it does know. actually yeah what so what better, yeah. what were you able to do so, uh, really just two different things. One is uh, I used the wrench to make it so that the pipes weren't all piping into each other to give them, like, s specific legs. Uh, okay. So, it, in case it, the path, there was, like, pathing or resolution problems or anything like that. And then, other than that, primarily just removing uh, a, a, a series of uh, clearly empty chests that weren't needed. And um, yeah, the purge yeah. has gone down here, yeah. You know, like just, just kind of like I obviously I wanted to leave us room to do still do stuff, but I I did just try and take out some stuff. As pretty as it was, what Pete made, I was kind of going more for the utility than the, oh, the aesthetic. You know, I mean, it still looks pretty in here. I would say you did a good job yeah, keeping it up. up I also bit. I didn't oh, realize yeah, yeah. that we are auto latex generating, and I assume that's been going for a couple episodes. Probably I just yep, ever since hadn't noticed. That's I super duper the machines and stuff. So yep, that's all automatically done. <laughs> That's the block so awesome. are really cool. I like how it just integrates right into the integrate dynamics. It's very nice. Yeah. yeah but now, uh, now we get to empty out that entire area and just bring it over to refined storage. Yeah, yeah it's so going to be the, beautiful. I'm assuming the end goal is to just get rid of all of the diamond chest usage down here. I think the, so. Everything yeah. to do with integrate dynamics. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, well, the chests will be gone, but the location is still the same. So the, I think filling the that one up downside would look very nice. The one downside, though, is we're not going to have that just freebie interdimensional access inventory anytime, I don't think, right? Is it power required? Or, like, how is that going to work with uh, RS? I just think it's, like, isn't it restricted to one dimension, I think? Could always go mechanism QIO. It's not too late. We're not there yet, but it's not too late. Just saying. I wonder if you took an RS interface and you hooked up one of the uh, um, integrated dynamic uh, interfaces into it, could you access the RS? I don't know if they're compatible. It just depends if it's like... Well, the you know. RS, is, I mean, the at least... I don't know with RS. With Applied Energistics, the interface is supposed to make it be able to present as if it were a chest. And so if that's the case, then these inner the, the the integrated dynamics interfaces are literally designed to read chests. So it's a maybe, uh, but it, 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 you, you don't really it's hard to know. Well, so, we can see. Apparently there's, there's something called a dimensional card or something like that. But I can't see it oh, if yeah, I'm looking it up. Card. Um, I don't see a dimensional uh, card, but maybe that's. Maybe it's called something else. Anyway, I guess they're, they're okay. Is there a quest line? Uh, it's called a binding card. That's what it is. It's a binding oh, card. Oh, okay. So refined storage. Binding Let's see. card. I never. Oh, dimension. Those, no, it's but... dimension card, not dimensional card. There we go. Oh, infinity, oh, right. infinity range boosters. Um, so we can do. Oh. We can have it work the same just, way. Cool. But I think with the infinity range <clears throat> boosters, like it takes a ton of power. Like I think it's just. Uh, but we're gonna have a nuclear uh, power plant pretty soon, right, Pete? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yes. In in due time. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm yes. warned. I'm warned. If Pete needs to take a hard look at QIO, he's not making that anytime soon. <laughs> no, I'm probably oh, not. I'm just talking. No. Oh no! Um, so, sounds like there's some gatage there. It uses 8k RF per tick. That's a reasonable number that we have far surpassed. But I just don't know like how difficult it is to achieve here. Yeah, yeah. No, you that's know definitely what the we're... per tick production is of the. Um, How are we right now? We're at 56 RF per tick? 
uh, per windmill, I believe. Okay. I was really hoping you were going to say um, 6K per tick, but no. no. But, oh. <laughs> Not exactly. We no, are. No. Okay. Good. Cool. That's, yeah. All right. Cool. Wait, what's Eidolon? It's apparently a, a, it's a mod. I don't know much beyond that. Maybe I should work but, on uh, time in a bottle. I kind of want to yeah. unlock I heard about some time of this in stuff. A bottle thing. Oh, yeah. We, what is that? Um, it allows you to speed up any process. Basically, as you play on the server, it banks your playtime, and then you can spend that playtime in order to speed up machines by the amount that you use. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Oh, so Eidolon is what leads into time in a bottle. Okay. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Also, speaking of playtime, have you both met the new member of our household? Uh, no. The uh, the Amogus has a uh, mini a mini me a mini Amogus. Oh, oh wow! Hey, wow. Huh. Interesting. I so figured what... I'd, I'd keep the same theme since we're embracing it from the first spawner that was purely created by accident that I wish I could have torn down, but Jordan was like, no, 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 this is fine. We'll work with this. Um, oh, look another... at all these oh wow. Chunks. Wait, so how does this work? Yeah. Okay, so it's a little bit different than the other spawner with it just being redstone power. Come into the backpack. Uh, I had to make sure I clarified something. Backpack there. Um, so it's the spawner is on indefinitely. The difference is, though, is that uh, netherite jellyfish are a little bit funky with how they spawn. Basically, let's see if I can stand here without getting flung off. There we go. Um, they only spawn in water, whether it be flowing or source blocks. That doesn't matter. Right. The funky thing is, is that they drop netherite chunks immediately when they spawn, but only when it's in water. So if they're just like spawning in the air, like if I put an ender dragon egg in here, that doesn't actually give them chunks. So I needed to make a way for them to spawn and then die immediately and then spawn a new, like, huh. just more spawning the better. So I have the thing off of an uh, hovering hourglass with four dispensers with water. So if you activate it with uh, 16 sand specifically, whenever that sand will expire. Come on, little guy. There you go. Uh, three, two, one, right about there. Go on. Oh, do your thing. Huh? I'm not trying to show anybody anything or anything. Go on and do your little. Okay. There you go. There you go. Water. So yeah, the water triggers the jellyfish to spawn, and then they drop the netherite chunks, and then that goes into the oh, water at the bottom. They really just poop them out. That's yeah. Crazy. They just they're just out of nowhere. Yeah. Here. Why are you dying, Zine? What? I'm not. Oh. Why are you dying? Oh, apparently I am. Something's zotting me. Yeah, that's the jellyfish. They oh, zap they zap bit. you. Okay, that makes sense. And then the 16, uh, that lets the water drain, and then they sink down into the uh, player damage traps. And then by the time oh. they're all dead, the water comes around again, and they spawn a new wave. So that Genius. just over and over produces more netherite chunks. Wow. Nice. Fancy. So, when did you do this? The only thing I've yet to do is actually, uh, just last night. Cool. Figured I'd get that ready, because I didn't know if we needed a bunch of machine frames and stuff for... Uh, with another right scrap or whatever. The only thing I've yet to do is get like a compactor made for turning the netherite chunks into netherite scrap, but I think that should be easy enough. Can you use a? Can you just use a compacting drawer? I guess I could, yeah. And then we, have and then we can probably drawer. auto craft we, we, using refined storage at some point and stuff. Yeah, we we have a compacting cool. drawer, so if we take a uh, the netherite chunk, what is it? The chunk. Doesn't uh, yeah, another red chunk. I kind of want to make some more drives. And also, by the way, if you're interested, um, just throwing it out and there. Goes in, put into the there drawer. is a new quality content drop Does available at qualitycontent.com oh, this Thursday. Work. It's uh, pretty sweet, mm, and you can okay. check it out. There the was, the I think, a compactor from And also, Cyclic, like the video, sub, turn on notifications, hit the bell, uh, and all that good stuff. It looks like you can yeah. do automated packing oh, packager. And, and, and create, or the packager, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking the packager might be the most simple one, and then funnel it into RS afterwards. Because I don't think it's worth making an entire like auto crafting system from RS, but maybe that'd be easier. Hard to say. Huh? I mean, uh, I would probably process it and put it into RS already packed. That'd be that would be my approach. Okay. 
Um, do we have, can the bees generate nether quartz or can they only generate like ingots and stuff? What? The oh, bees. Sorry, can sorry. they generate I nether quartz? Asking, uh, I believe so. Okay. Can we have them generate uh, um, a, like nuts. in quartz form, not the block? Let me see what the quartz puts out yeah we have the quartz bee and then he just poops quartz i believe okay uh, cool do you need some nether quartz that could be nice because we need a lot of silicon for refined storage um ample I'll amounts see of what that I can do. would be good and then glass what's our best bet anytime for getting... we do anything what's with the bees glass? we get ample amounts <laughs> that is that's good that's exactly what we're looking for here oh or is there a silicon bee uh, there's not. Okay, then we're, it's fine. All good. See. I'm yeah, working on making some crystallized amber, since that's a commonly used item. Fire charge, redstone, and magma. Okay. Ooh, auto smelt for glass would be kind of good, wouldn't it? Other quartz... I just centrifuges down. Cool. Yep, we uh, we will be getting quartz momentarily. Cool. And let's see. So we were coming down this line, and then we decided, or, or we realized, we needed a sigh, as I recall. Um, let's see. Oh, wait. If we wanted to do the big storage, how do we make... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Improved process. Oh, oh boy. We're going to need a lot of silicon. We're going to need a lot of processor binding. Oh, boy. Oh, a lot of boy. heads done research for this episode, it seems. Oh, boy. Okay. I feel like there was a... How to do in here. Here we are. A very good Cat question. I wish I knew the answer to. Cat assembler and the spell programmer. It's a very specific workbench. I think we have workbenches. Nope. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right, what is our best way to get lots of string as well? Oh yeah, also, how is our, uh, oh, our mana prod is looking good. That's looking good. Yeah, I uh, move stuff into another thing to try and just have more mana. Mana? Mana, mana? Mana. A little bit more mana. All right, there we go. We love that phenomena. Oh, wow, okay. Did you just uh, stand next to the, the flowers with XP for a while to fill up those pools? Yeah, I was just looking through. I was building stuff, and so I was just standing on the flowers while I was doing that. Uh, I think we've got good Enderium. Don't need that anymore. Where is Where even is Enderium coming from? Or has it just been sitting there? Stand here with you. Does that double the speed? Probably are. Yeah, um, I don't think so because no, yeah, we're, we're they're all, they all max. Yeah, they all max with one cap. person. Easy. Yeah. Interesting. Um, let's see. God, we do need a lot in order to be able to like mass produce. Oh. Sixty-four okay. k. Um. Uh, drives. We're gonna take a lot of a lot of things. So that's pulling out quartz blocks, so I need to blacklist those. Is it, I've seen you using the uh, pipes mod. Do you like it? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's not like ultra powerful, but it, it's simple and just gets the job done. Like it just does what, what you need it for. to do. 
So you can use, uh, there's a lot of blocks of quartz. You can use the mana pools to move them back. Um, should you be so inclined? Um, what is our best way to make cactus green? Um, uh, use see. Are you, do you need the dye or do you need cactus green? Like I need the oh for? green dye. Just just use RGB dye. Hey, you can just make it. There's okay, let's honey see. for it. Green dye. Where is the RGB? Oh, there we go. Nice. Dude, the bees are like, they're really holding their own, competing with uh, like the, you know, the the agriculture and stuff like that. Yeah, no, they're, uh, they do all righty. Is it a thing where we'd be without them? Hmm. It is. Get, get, it get, is get, indeed. Ah, uh, had to reverse the rolls on that one. Uh, get, 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 get. I was just actually watching a thing, uh, a One Piece episode where a guy laughed just like that. <laughs> Did you think of us? No, I didn't really make the connection until just now, actually, when, when Zine <laughs> did it. I see. Mm hmm. All right, so now if I get this, can I add this to the whitelist? that do the right things cool all right now quartz is coming in regular form not in block form and you should be pretty good on quartz production all right cool cool oops keep messing this up jesus <laughs> what's up what's wrong we're already at like 2500 quarts. Yeah, that's uh, that might like, actually be enough for like a little I'm bit like, potentially. I'm like, oh my gosh, come on, man. There is a chance that that like will be okay for for a little while potentially maybe. Well, we got Possibly. another tick out of him, so we'll we'll see where that ends up. Okay. Oh, Just no, one, it's at five, it's at 5k. I, I like how we can go from 0 to 5000 over the course of just a handful of seconds. It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, so the cat assembly and what was the rest? Um, cat assembler and spell programmer. Yeah, we're really gonna want auto crafting for sure, I know. Mm hmm. Ow, okay, really? No. But how do? What? What do you mean you're. Oh. Oh boy, okay. Gonna need a lot of those. Gonna need a whole lot of those bad boys. Yes, we are. Oh boy. All right, you ever so... accidentally flux point when you should have flux plugged? Oh yeah, all the time. Right about now. Oh, I don't yeah, think I, I feel like I've always done the wrong one first. You ever see the uh, the USB port meme? With, the, you know, the Drake pointing, but it's for USB ports. Oh uh, yeah, you never put it in the right way. Well yeah, how it's, it's like wrong, wrong, and then right. You always get it wrong twice in a row. That's pretty true, yeah. It's pretty relatable. That feels like how it is with uh, with flux plugs. Um, let's see. Quartz. Oh yeah, that's um, that might be enough quartz potentially. There's a chance that that's good. Good, because I pulled the B out. Okay, cool. I'll let you know if I go through all 6,000 in a few minutes. Yeah. All right. Oh, there's an infinite disk drive for refined storage. That's so cool. Ah, the infinite storage disk. I'm sure this is easy to make. Wait. Wait. Waiting. I'm holding. Is it actually not that bad? I have power. Oh. Oh, that's... That's bad. Oh, that's... Hmm. Maybe. 
Hmm. No, that's hmm. That's a, is, that's a lot of it, recursion. That's a lot of recursion. Okay. That's once well, we get auto crafting. Yeah, recursion is what we're supposed to be able to do. Oh you know. My God. Apparently, it costs over one million silicon and quartz iron. Oh. Okay. That that's seems rich. like a lot. And that's going to require. That's going to be a lot of string cheese. It's going to take a lot of string cheese. Oh my goodness. All right. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool. Oh. Wait. 256K is a good starting disc, I'm told. <laughs> it's a good, just a good start. Yeah, just. 256. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. So, Zane, the Ender chest from Ender Storage, is that how you've been, like, getting items remotely into the Integrated Dynamics Storage? Or yep. how have you been doing that? Yep. Anything put into white, white, white on the Ender chest will go into the, the storage. And then oh, you, can you can make yourself an Ender pouch and uh, carry that with you. And so anything you want to put in, just do 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 Okay, no no problem guys. I'm just going to be in the inventory the entirety of this episode. Just Have fun working on making storage drives. It's going to be very fun and compelling content. Next GUI. Next GUI. Ay 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 ay. Okay, well, I need to make some of those, content I guess. Demon. This requires a lot. This requires a lot. Oh my god. Save me. I feel like I'm doing 10 10 10s right now. Pete will never have to know the horror that is 10 10 10s. Explain 10 10 10s to me. Uh, making plants good, basically. You want your plants to have really good attributes. And, um, so you have to, like, poll cross-pollinate and breed them in this lattice of fences in a, yeah, it's, uh, and it, basically you're, you're doing DNA, genetic matching, trying to increase the attributes, and it, uh, takes a long, long time to do. Are we still talking about storage? No, this is, uh, this is for, like, mystical agriculture, um... To get oh, it's it's like kind of what the bees have replaced, and it uh, the bees seem to be way better at it as well. All right. You don't think we're ever going to be worrying about ten ten tens? No, I don't believe that it's. Tracking? I don't think it's in here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll consider myself blessed that I don't have to deal with such a thing. Indeed. Processor. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, God. I only have 77 processor bindings left. ay 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 We're going to need, actually, more sugar cane, most likely, as well. Sugar cane, you say? Yeah, because we're going we're gonna to be going through a lot of this stuff. Oh, my Lord. And we're going to need more string. So, do we have, like, hemp production going for the sake of getting more string and stuff? Uh, we have a lot. Do we have hemp? Still in the storage? We have 549 hemp fibers and a lot of seeds in there. And then we still have the hemp farm on the north side of the base. Okay. There's a little bit going down right there. Aren't we at the stage where we can get phytogenic insulators online? Oh, quests will equal discs. Oh, look at this. Um, we probably can get that phytogenic might, stuff online, yeah. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, that's pro that probably a good idea. Won't even take an Omega Pog. Yeah, a little PTSD from uh, some of those crafting recipes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so I can get a little bit of help from completing this stuff, huh? Okay. Oh, boy. Can 
I use a regular glass for this? I can. Brilliant. So cool. So great. Frick! Okay, yay, it gives me an extra of the tier below. That's so silly that it does that. Ay ay ay. Oh, what does this do? Oh, it gives an extra crafting grid. What the? Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Also, if... Pete wants to redeem any of these things. That's also an option. Oh, dude, that's my middle name. Pete Redemption Hut. Uh, point me in the right direction. Refined storage. Refined storage, just feel free to redeem the uh, available Everything quests and stuff like that. And of the refined storage items, I'd say probably like maybe put the those the bigger blocks inside of the cra th this refined storage system, perhaps, or something. Keep like it all that. in the same place, yeah. The craft, oh, like I put the crafter inside. I guess we don't need the raw. The raw materials can go in the old system until we get everything moved over. But yeah, cool. Yeah, well, there's a few few items for you. Okay, cool, cool stuff. Okay, yeah. I wonder if those can start auto crafting. Oh boy. Well, we get a big drive first. I wonder if we can move everything over with a two fifty six drive. Would we also, because we'd still be using the compacting drawers for that, like, storage, right? Does the crafting drawers integrate into RS in that way? They do, or yeah. would all of the items? Okay, that's good. Oh, wait. Do we have 14 million? I yeah, but of those 14 million, how many are in the... Um, the drawers, because there's no way our chests down there are holding 14 million items. Wait, one, two. Oh God! Okay. This under storage mod has three items in it, and it's somehow stun locking me. I am not built for modded. <laughs> Stop using the clear glass. Use regular glass. Good lord. I need to match the... I need to match them. Color. Black, yellow, black. I knew Zine was a Steel Wars fan all along. Zine is being uh, very, very quiet today. He must be big on the focus. It's... This is nutso. Is it? <laughs> I I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to do it, you know? Mm -hmm. so can you take an intermission and tell me how to change the colors in the ender chest at the top of it? The yes, three absolutely. Absolutely. What colors would you like? Where are you? Uh, black, yellow, black, because that's the one that yours is on, right? Yeah, because it was bees. Yes. So oh, wait. Okay. Not the Steelers. Sorry. Um, All right. Oh, my are God. You, Why are you, are you doing this? No, I just thought I could get you to talk about another controversial topic, you know, being a Steelers fan. And nah, I was Steelers always a Broncos. Fan, fan, I was always know. a Broncos fan. Oh, that's respectable for, si for silly for silly reasons, but still. Um, I mean, I've been a Packers fan since the age of eight because I saw them on TV once, and my favorite color is green. <laughs> you don't you don't have I, to be born in the city. You just have to have some kind of reason, and that's valid, you know. I'm basically the same, but different. I uh, always enjoyed uh, the Broncos because John Elway was the first pl player. That's the I first person I ever heard of, too, was John Elway. Yeah. And I never really watched football after, but I think my mom's like really old boyfriend was John Elway. Right. was like the favorite QB. So anyway, that was the rest of my story, but... Um, so you wanted, uh, enter store, you just place it and then you just click on the, the icon with, I upset uh, Zine by saying you wanted John Elway. Oh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So you literally can like, hold um, the oh, put the, the left oh yeah. The 16 K part. If you right. prefer, 
you can pick it up and put it in the crafting, and yeah, so where the, just the chest is in idea. center Let's grid. Just make a lot of these bad boys. The but yeah, the 16K the will get me another one, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Crafting as well, but you can also... It's, That'll be the next either one. Either way. Either when it's placed, oh, cool. you can change it, or you can craft it that way. Oh. Never mind, that only gets me a 4K. God dang it. Speaking of uh, throwing things into a crafting like with something else, um... I have recently rediscovered the Keystone of the Oblivion. I gave you guys both one, like, at probably episode three. Same for me, and then I just never did anything with it. Uh, it's probably the most incredible item in the entire mod pack, and I say that as a person who loves inventory management when working on projects. Um, you can basically set any item you want by combining it in the crafting grid to, like, filter it out of your inventory. So if, like, you're working on a project and, like, five creepers come over and they drop, like, seven million items, the keystone will just blip them from your inventory completely. Like, you'll be gone from there. Same with, like, uh -huh. cobblestone when you're mining or, like, stuff in the nether or anything unwanted. You just keep it in your inventory and it just gets rid of it immediately. It is You have to, term, like, blacklist fantastic. it, basically? Yeah, so if you take the keystone and the item that you want to get rid of and you put them both in the crafting inventory, it'll just give you the keystone back with that item now in the filter. And so if that item ever goes back in your inventory again, I mean, there's a few different things that it can do. It can make it so if you have more than a stack, it'll get rid of excess or just like get rid of it forever. And you can toggle it on and off so you can like leave it off. And if your inventory ever gets full, you just give it a quick turn on and off and they'll just delete your inventory from anything that you don't want. Hmm. It is insanely nice for working on projects where you have a bunch of stuff in your inventory and you don't want to get clogged. Okay. Yeah, it's like a dank on void filter, basically. Got it. Um, I implore you to set a filter. It's very nice. Hey, by the way, Pete, if you don't mind um, yeah. uh, chucking another, uh, you know, quest redemption... Oh. Um, would be super duper. Thank you, thank you. I need a lot of those oh, basic processor this. binders. A 4K thank you, thank you. you. Much appreciate. And the uh, jelly baby as well. Oh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Now we're getting now we're getting some storage parts. That's what I like to see. Okay, I need a lot of basic processors, huh? All right, guys, we're moving. We're moving. This is happening. It's it's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, so we can make a lot of 4Ks. I think I can get us up to uh, 256 probably here without it occupying the entire episode. Only about half of the episode. So, look at us. We're up to a 64K. Plus, we got two more. We just need to make three more. Uh, four more. 16Ks, and we will be good. So, let's freaking go. All right, so we need to make... Four more of those. Gonna be how many? I'm trying to math in my head. How many? This three, so nine, fifteen of these, fifteen more of these. Put in inventory. Oh, put in my inventory. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, scrap is now automated into the system. Perfect. Very pog. Um, Pete, if you wouldn't mind a little redemption, and Zine, if you left. wouldn't mind redeeming a 16k part, it would be so helpful. Uh, Jordan, Zine's muted right now. Maybe you could ask he him can, later. He can hear. He just... Uh, oh my god. We're gonna get to the point where I'm... We're gonna get to the point where I'm, uh, like, nearly at the infinite storage drive, and I could save one-third of the recursion. He's gonna be like, nah, sorry, I can't do that for you. That sounds correct. Uh huh. I caramba. Okay, so side gems. I made the assignment of CAD and greater in future. Okay. It's five. Oh, one more. Just one more. So I need another. I'm almost.
almost there. I've almost made it. The secondary battery. And you. No! Oh, god dang processors! Whoa, what is this fancy Psymetal stuff? We're Psymetaling it up over here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's there. It's there. Oh, we have it. An incredible, incredible revelation. No, that's not what I want. Okay, I'm really going to need a lot more string cheese. Oh, my goodness. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Okay. And can I get a 256? Oh, wait. Um, is that going to... I think we've done all the tasks, right? Yeah. Okay. 256. Oh, it never wants to let prime. Thank <laughs> you for it. There we go. Whew. Now. PSI is needed for power. Oh, we're going into the big power generation. I see you. Well, I this see is, you. This is all needed for Terra Steel. Oh, okay. Um, so all right. Am I free to use a 256K storage part to just make a make a drive so we can kind of get started on this thing. I wish you would. Okay, been cool. Been making them, so yeah. I just didn't know if like that would it would be no 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 save it and do. Um. Oh, I can always remove the casing. Hold on. If you undo it, will it store all the items in it, even if it's in a part as opposed to the full drive though? Because if you put stuff in it, you can't then upgrade it afterwards. I don't think can you? It. It will. I don't think that you works. Just drop I don't think that stuff. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it just won't even uncraft. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at that point we've just. Yeah. Okay. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. So we got to be committed to this, which oh, I'm. I'm. First. Right. All right. We'll have auto crafting at some point anyway. It's not gonna be too bad. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna throw this into action here, and then we can get refined storage underway. All right, we got a 256K storage drive. So well done, boss. Um, if we wish to start dumping some things into refined storage, we can. Um, what's our best? Zane, do you have uh, any input on what the best way is to transfer items from the... Old well stuff. Yep, I know, right? Oh, do you uh, actually use terrestrial agglomeration? That's sick. Do I? I mean, I know of decent ways to do so, yes. Is that the question? Well, like, I'm just wondering, like, do we just want to manually, you know, break the chest, dump them out, and there's do it that way, or? Possibly. Um, there's not really a... Like the only ways export wise that I know of are fairly um they like per item. I don't know of just a general dump everything uh -huh. off the top off the top of my head. Not to say there isn't one. I just don't know it. Okay. I think we need two more sparks. Importer with stack and speed upgrades is the Kilroy way. Importer with stack and speed upgrades. And where are we connecting it to? That is a bit more of a question. Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, what block he do we... He says the chests. So you go from chest to oh. chest, maybe? Oh, that's... That's kind of an interesting... That's I fun. Don't know. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> um, well, you could... You so could we just bring, like, a basically a vacuum tube down here, and then just one by one hook it up to each chest so it sucks well, all the items out? I mean, maybe, or else you... Uh, you just Oh, you could vacuum hopper. I guess. The vacuum hopper's a little bit slow for that. 
Hmm. Um, but you could also use like pipes to just export from one chest into the next, into the next, into the next kind of thing. Um. There is export all items integrated. Hmm. My God, we use this uses so much mana. Guys, connecting the system to an ender chest doesn't do anything. It like. That would just be, instead of connecting it directly to refined storage, we're connecting it to an ender chest. The problem is getting things out of all the chests. Ender chest doesn't do anything to help that. So, yeah. I Like, again, the problem is more the export. How do, what is the best point of exporting in the integrated dynamic system? Importing is easy. So, yeah. Um... Let's see, RS importer on ID interface, but do it manually and use a magnet. Oh boy. Um, break all chests plus magnet plus ender pouch. I'm actually curious because I think we can space bar things into refined storage, right? So if I broke the chess, I could in theory just like space bar everything over super quickly, couldn't I? Okay, no input, no input. What's the, sorry, I was letting my dog out. Um, like I could break all the chess and then just have, like if you can space bar into refined storage, then it, it would be pretty fast, right? Like, let me check, let me check. I'm gonna bring some things out, and then... Oh, no, space barring doesn't work. No! Can you quick, you can quick click, but nope, you can't space bar it. Darn it. Well, I'm gonna worry about it later. I think in the meantime, um... <clears throat> oh, yeah, we don't really want to put items into the refined storage until we have a system that is as convenient. So, god dang it, we're not free of the, uh, not free of the other stuff yet. You know what you're about to be free of, though? What? The this bounds. mortal coil. Oh. Pretty, pretty close, actually. Your mortal bounds. In just a moment, you will be free of this the way like I can. I can world. exit my ominous. body. You will become one with just the spirit world, Jordan. What, what are you going to do this. to me? Come Nothing on. without consent. Anti. Oh, oh! This is the thing that allows you to just jump up block by block. Yeah. Uh huh. I wait. Yo, you. that's Thank you. Yourself, dude. indestructible. This is so awesome. Wait, how do I disable it? Put it in your backpack. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm just, no, I'm just wondering how to toggle it because like it makes it so you can't this fly with great. your elytra. This is great. How do I stop it? Well, it's cool for like building and stuff, but it's like, God dang it. Why you gotta, why you gotta do me like that, man? <laughs> I, mean, I, it's I didn't well do anything. I just. I when, just, when I first built the storage system downstairs, the first thing you did was say, oh, this is why it's a little laggier now. So, like, I, I understand. Like, I get it. I know you're grateful. No, I was just... just oh, my good, God. Oh you've got a good way goodness. of expressing it. it is. <laughs> I was mere... It's something I adore about you. Purely asking for the sake of information. <laughs> goodness. I'm just... A walking social faux pas. You're not a futon, Jordan. It's okay. I'm I just, I, 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 instead of feats, I have social faux paws. Um, so anyway, I do kind of, maybe I should just take a break from sitting in the crafting grid for an hour and, um, go towards time in a bottle. Oh, speaking of doing something repetitive. Would you mind if I borrowed one of your guys' swords? Uh, like what kind of sword? Any sword that can one-shot an ender dragon, ideally. Oh, sure. I need to go kill an ender dragon like 30 times. Um, 
You know, I... Yeah. Here you go. Unless you want to... If, if you want to do it, too. No, there you go. Borrow okay. it. Unless it's, like, soulbound to me or something Oopsie like that. Daisy. It doesn't work. Oh, Stop God, flying! Oh, it's... Is... Oh, yeah, actually, do you just want one? Um... I don't know if I'd know what to do with it, to be honest. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so you, you don't want it? Uh, I, can, can you come back to me on that one? Got it. Cool. I'll... Yep. Okay. We'll revisit. We'll revisit. <laughs> Sounds good. He doesn't know how to feel. It's just a very large. Understandable. Number, it's all, you know? it's a very it's a big boy. You got to get used to it. You know. What are we talking about? It'd be like going. It'd be like you know you're on the you're on the bunny slope and then someone is just like you want to hit the double blacks and you'd be like uh I'm not sure. Come back to me in a bit. I'll have to try and get those charms made up. Just need to kill an inner dragon. Actually, is, how many green hearts do we this have? Kind of horrible. We got six. Okay. Okay, we need to make some pewter blend. Why is um Zine? Do you happen to have any uh, lead bees? Yes. I think we could use some of them because our our iron or our lead is quite low. We only have four blocks of lead. Yeah, and that That's... lead is weird because you can't actually uncraft it. You just have to uh, use to use the um, stone cutter, I believe, to change it back into the correct type. Oh, interesting. So it's just the wrong mod type of lead, I believe. Got it. Okay, what in the... Have you read up on what a soul shard is? A soul shard? Soul shard? Yeah, the Eidolon no. soul shard. Okay. No. I have no input on Eidolon at this point. Yeah, I have no idea. So, I'd, I'd never heard of it before now. Um, he not, maybe he doesn't like that type of lead either? Or did it not place? I am confusion. You know, Jordan, if only I had the sword while speed running. Uh, <laughs> would it would it be it helpful? Look a lot different. It'd look a lot different. Uh-huh. That's... That makes sense, yeah. It's right there. Must not like that one. Oi. Um. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I Thank need you for 30... letting me borrow this, by the way. No problem. Happy to help. Okay, so I need 32. Yeah, so we need a little bit more of the uh, lead then. Oopsie daisies. I'm working. On it. it's all You're all working. all good, all good, all good. Uh, have we a stone cutter later around? No, I'll just make one. There we are. Oh, we yeah, do. Stone, no, there is a stone cutter, and I just used it, and it did allow me to change it to, out of the Eidolon to cool. a normal. That was not the one. Lock. Um, thermal series. <laughs> Yay! He'll be happy there. Are I will say, good? lead looks a lot uh prettier in this uh, mod pack. Thermal series made lead look very nice. Right. Silent but leadly. What's up? It's just B being dumb. It's like, apparently that's not, it doesn't like that one. Zine already unlocked the thing, so that's we are we are all good there. It's a magic mod with interesting interaction with undead mobs. To begin, you need first toss your book on a witch to learn of the wicked sign for dark prayer. Mm, that'll give us info on the soul shard thing. I need to find a witch. Hey Zine, did you um throw your book on a witch by any chance? Huh? Guess not. 
I will do that then. I don't know what that means, so no. I need to find a witch. That's the only problem. Yeah, if you convert to thermal, then you can convert to letting it's... Just so you know. Okay. Wait, what? Mon oh, 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 oh. Okay, don't worry, I've got it, I've got it. I've got a swab, and I've I've got the Ars Ecclesia. Where's the best place to find a witch? Anybody got any thoughts as to where uh, would be the best place to find a witch? Are there any other, like, better dimensions for it? Not off the top of my head, no. Uh, that's a good question, actually. Oh, do we have any way to do lightning, by any chance? All right, your lead I is coming in. I can summon a thunderstorm, <clears throat> and you could get a channeling. Okay. You could try to just wander over to a swamp and poke around a little bit. That is also true, potentially. Let's see. Hmm. Wonder if there will be any witch huts in this swamp. Let me know if you need some thunder on your shining rainy day. Okay, wait. Uh, apparently, there's something called a blitz drop. Yeah. Uh. Blitz charm. Is that what it is? Blitz moat. We definitely have blitz moats. Um. Oh, I could do a raid if we, yeah, but we don't know how to get, <clears throat> we don't have any, whatchamacallit, bad omen, do we? Bad omens. It took me a while to find a guy that actually gave me bad omen. I know where a, um, raid, an outpost uh, is? whatever, yeah, outpost is, but. Other yeah. oh, okay. I know where one is too, it just, they take a while to spawn, something about like the, I don't know if it's that they're custom or it's on server or whatever. Someone did tell me that apparently rats can give bad omen though. Oh, okay, no, 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 we, I got it, I got it, I got it, we're good, we're good. All right, Pog. This is gonna be great. Um, cool, I am going to continue to um, do bad things in this village over here. These poor villagers, they really deserve better than us. Me, really. Oh, true. I could just use a villager spawn egg rather than... No. Yeah, 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 that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Rather than tormenting the uh, village over here, I will simply use one of my 45 villager spawn eggs and turn you into a witch. Good idea, everybody. Good idea. Okay, get out of the fire. Get out of the fire. And then... Drag a villager with lightning. Rough. Throw an R's to your witcher. Yeah, I, uh, I used a villager spawn egg and then turn... Okay, how dare you poison me, first of all? What the frick? Wait. Congrats on the uh, all advances run, by the way. Stole my book. Oh, there we go. Um Oh yeah, I'm I mean I, I got the uh, I got the shulker into the overworld, uh, or into the deep dark, I should say, so that was an accomplishment, right? Oh nice. So is the next episode gonna be Oh, we're still not even close to how did we get here. I still need to get the dolphin down. I need to make all of the potions. I, there's a lot of stuff that still has to happen, and I'm going to have to work on that. You know? Well, thankfully, dolphin and dolphin back to that uh, anyway. relatively easy. I mean, I got to bring it down to oh, the deep actually, dark. Oh, yeah. Thinking about it, that might be a little bit more challenging. Yeah, you know. How open is the cave? Um, I mean, it's a pretty, it's an ancient city, so it's pretty, pretty open. Um, yeah. We have that. Oh, interesting. 
And that goes back to the power and the whole dielectric, blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Oh. 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 We're going to need some spawnerage to happen here. Uh, we may need to make a zombie spawner. Who's up for uh, Mogus number three? Or, no, actually, you know what? I could just do it on this one. You can convert the main one, right? Yeah, I could just convert That's the main work. one. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Not to take away from Mogus number three, obviously. Um, do we have a zombie spawn egg, by the way? We do have a zombie spawn egg, so that's helpful. Okay, cool. Okay, so she's the other substance. Okay, all right, all right. Ebony and Irie on coal. Okay, cool. I think I know how to do that. Coal. Okay, so what do I need for this? That is crazy, bro. That's crazy. I need to make a brazier. Okay, I'm a little unsupported. Um, yes, it looks like I could sit on this one. Okay, so, uh, and then I need stone hands. Good yeah, pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Oh no, I need another slab. Why does everyone say they're leaving right now? I'm just completing challenges. Hmm. So you guys have all, it seems like all you guys have used Eidolon before. It sounds like you have some knowledge of it. Um, so I gotta figure out how to set up the brazier. Let me see, let me see. So, monsters, ores, pewter, enchanted ash. Um, zombie bre- oh, fancy. Need, like, rituals and stuff like that. Where is the... Brazier- no, that's not where the brazier goes. Which- where is it? Trying to find it. It's not showing- oh, there it is. Okay. Um... Well, what did you get? Kill the boss and claimed its hat. Unlocks the hat oh. launcher recipe. Yeah, that was not a very pretty looking ender dragon flying at me, I'll be honest with you. Um, but I at least got an advancement for dealing with that. Sorry I wasn't pretty. If I could, I'd, I'd pretty it up for you. You deserve all the pretty. I really do. But Zane, I deserve you. Okay, you I get it, I get it, I get it now. There we go. You're all that I need. Wait, what? Okay. Well. <laughs> oh, hey. <I> don't... <laughs> Let me just jump I in this. Hey, hey where, where'd the, uh, where'd the, the, the portal go? How's the uh, sword work on this guy? I'm kind of curious. Really my sword. I'm kind of curious. Can I try swatting with mine for a second? Sure, stand here. Stand? Well, I mean, you got the thing I gave you, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just stand it, here. I keep it close to me at all times. Why is it oh, just specifically it. there? Oh, of course, it goes to the one and eight. Uh, when a dragon spawns I'm just putting in, a, I'm just putting a, a stool here. This is a stool for me to sit on while I'm slaying things. It generates, it'll Let's either see. go to so, that like, node or just, this node. Maybe go like that, see. and then... So it's just a way of not having to chase after it. But and do I like put the shimmy up? We'll see that damage there. And then do I have to light it on fire? Do I do like flint and steel, All guys? I do it is not hitting it. Okay. What's the play? Flint and steel? Not great. Not horrible. Not bad. I mean, could be could be worse. That crossbow is so good. <laughs> <laughs> you just break out the crossbow and solve this problem. What the frick? No. Incredible. Just be done with it. Um, eh. Let's see. And then... 
Where that is. Thanks for the fun. Gotta go. See you later. Okay, so oh, so I gotta light. I gotta light it after I put that in. I see. Here. I see. Okay. Got it. Whoa! Oh shoot, I think it all just went in the trash. <laughs> now I have the dielectric paste. Um, it's okay, let me fix that. For the power Oops. I needed... Let's see. There's still your night steel. The, the, the electrified steel, right? Energized. Steel. It's okay. That was very cheap. It's fine. We can we can do that again. <laughs> we can do that again. It's no big deal. We got boom, 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 and then we flint and steel, and then oh god, turn it on, turn it on. Oh god. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Oh, it literally needs a chest. Oh, it's not like a regular hopper then, huh? All right, I can fix that. Oh, balls, I gotta figure out how to work this thing now. That's a good amount of soul shards. Okay. Oh, okay, neat. All right, I got a few soul shards. Cool, I figured out the soul shard thing. That's very nice. Very pog. Yeah, very, very indeed. Okay, let's do that again. Man, Listen, how much do you know Mogus about is so dimlets? good. Oh, True. Dimlets are wild, dude. You can make some crazy dimensions. Jordan's more. Chat was telling me that I can make a dimension with just like. Don't a call bunch me a dimlet. Dragons flying around. Okay, I'm backing out of this conversation. Uh, you can make a dimension with dragons flying around. Is it's very gated, expensive, though. It would take it would take a lot of RF, and you kind of have to um, get lucky and find it. Because the dimlets are like random, basically you can like unpack them from randomized stuff and then hope that you get the one that you're looking for. So that's saying that you guys have created a desert dimension with a lot of desert temples as a loot before in the past? Uh along yeah. those lines. Did we I don't think we actually had like good desert temples there. It was a little bit I think our the desert dimension we did last time around was pretty lame, if I remember correctly. And so it was just one giant, like, biome of just nothing but desert. Yes. The whole thing. Mm hmm I love that. <laughs> I, lo I love it. Oh, my God. Really? For... This, uh, the... <laughs> the main entryway of, of Mogus 1 is... <laughs> A little crowded with stuff, but you know, all serves a purpose. <laughs> oh, you mean the twelve different spells and lovers that you well, have? Well, it's there? a lot of spells. Plus, we have the tank. Plus, now we have a brazier and a couple of hands around it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> God dang it! It came out. It came out sounding a certain way. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, how did it sound? So, um, what do you mean? Really crowded soon. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so, yeah, but I got what I needed out of the whole thing, and we're good. <laughs> oh, 16 more. Let's go. All right, so what are we? Whoa, what are we? What are the oh mob souls from Draconic Evolution? I haven't even seen these in here. That's crazy. Who was who was fetching mob souls? They they come off of my sword. Oh, if okay. Have, if you have Reaper on your sword, you can get them on occasion. Got it. Okay, Crucible. Let's 
Let's look up how the Crucible works. Okay. Blocks block. At least want to make sure. Well, hmm. Oh, do lava? Okay. Well, that's great. This is great. That's great. I don't think this actually has to hook in anything. I think it just does. Frick. I think it just do. Why is everyone saying that this is going to be painful? It seems so straightforward, and yet the everyone is like, this is gonna... He's gonna mess this up. This is gonna be terrible. Oh, God. I'm really fast destroying you, then. Um, I mean, I will say I, they underestimated me before in that, like, I they did say I was going to fail at um, bringing a shulker in. And to be fair, they were right the first time. But the second time I got it. But not the second time. Yeah. <laughs> Only uh, once. Mm hmm. OK, well, I'll That's go get some rod. lava. Using rod, power rod. What was your method for safely transporting it the second time? Oh, it, I didn't actually even really. Ch well, I kind of changed the method in that I added ice on the nether roof, but it was the nether roof both times. Problem was, I uh, started boating it and it just killed itself because I didn't use enough health pots. I thought it had more health than it actually did. Mm -hmm. um, but second time around, I just made an ice path on the nether roof so that the boating was quick. Wait, that's content. I love that. So you just ran up behind it and punched it, or did you hop in the boat with it? No, no, no. I was in the boat with it. When you're when you're moving fast on ice, the shulker projectiles uh, can't keep up, so it doesn't risk hitting itself. That's incredible tech. I love that. Oh, you know, have you not done nether roof before? For shulker, I mean. No, because it's never been necessary for one sixteen. Oh, you just do it at spawn, just, right? Just do it at spawn. Yeah. Got it. Well, if I ever want to do uh, one nineteen all advancements again. I know who to ask for a tutoring. Awesome. Oh yeah, you know me. I am a I'm a real pro at all things Minecraft advancements. Okay. Just about there, you know. I will be. I will be. I, I've never done how did we get here, so it just seems intimidating. But I'm hoping it's not it's too bad. It's a lot more about not forgetting things. The actual process of it is like, it's a little fast, right? Like, once you're in it, the adrenaline kicks up and you gotta be a little quick. But I think, like, having something written down in front of you to just be like, okay, I gotta remember this and this and this. I mean, I will say, I have done it. I've done it. But I, I haven't, like, set it up. I've done it on somebody else's setup on a server. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, water is And boiling. I think you will be perfectly fine. That's... But I've not done it in 1.19 with the darkness. Okay. Okay. Um. Dialogue hmm. sounds quite delicious. Just gonna put that out there. Okay, so step one, throw those two in. Well, I'll tell you, they don't have a lot of confidence in me, but, um. Range, one energized rod, range. So, redstone and soul. Having. Place Why am I having those? I don't understand in range. Do I stir? Oh. oh. Okay, it went. And then... Two gold? What? What the frick? It ate my soul! Shard thing. Oh my god. 
you can't be too quick or too slow. Holy heck. Oh, God. Oh, you know what you gotta do, Jordan? You gotta play that oh, fiddle. Oh, God. Okay. All right. So, ay ay ay. No stir. Okay, wait, wait. Go, 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 do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, be good, be good, be good, you got this. Oh, it worked, that wasn't that bad, okay. That was, that was overhyped a little bit. Hey Zine, is there an arcane bee by any chance? Or an arcane Let gold, arcane gold bee. Yes. Okay, cool, then, then all I have to do is this a uh, few times and we'll be good. Brilliant. Oh, by the way, Pete, have you died this episode? I haven't, Jordan. Hmm. Do you need to make that a thing? I don't know. I just, it just, it feels weird. Something is just off a little bit. Kind of, yeah. Right. That's that, uh, that's, that's understandable. Um. Yeah, no, haven't haven't died. There there have been a couple episodes where I've I've stayed alive throughout the duration of it. Oh, um, have there been? Yeah, I'm I'm sure if you went into your analytics, there's you know probably a lesser viewership duration overall because of it. Just everybody's like, ah, oh, he hasn't died yet this episode. It's just this wasn't worth. No, or maybe it'd actually be really high audience retention because people are like waiting for it to happen, and when it does, they leave. And so the fact that it it hasn't happened means that they're still around waiting to see you know mm, that's a good point oh god no so don't do if, that what if on the idea of it not happening this episode and being left with a cliffhanger because sure they're going to come back and be like okay he has to die in this episode right it didn't happen last time um maybe maybe yeah maybe the people will be more inclined to tune into the next one that is very possible so I have 309 levels. I'm really just trying. To <laughs> That's understandable, <laughs> actually. I I well, won't hold it against you. Law. Maybe just not, you know, like condemn him to death for no reason. Um. Okay, Zine. Arcane gold block is in the system. All right. Oh my god, this is so slow. No. God, the freaking did it again! I've fricked it for the second time. It's fine, guys. It's I fine. It's just, it's not it's that big of a waste. Oh, God. Feather falling. Orbs of immunity and all for what? When I know that the outcome's gonna be the same. Does that say something about me? What is it that you're working towards? Just, I don't know. You know, I, I put a bunch Survival. of armor on, and what's He's the point of armor, live. really? It's a good question. No, it's not. It's a terrible right. question. You, your point is to live. Why are you encouraging him to die? <laughs> there's, 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 there's no reason for you to die. Just be, just live. I was in your, your. You're turning some angry, some angry viewers right now. I will deal with the heat. <laughs> I, I will, I will protect. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Pete, that Pete is, deserves life. What is a glyph press? Oh my! Oh, our arcane stone. Oh my God! There's another whole thing that we got to do here. <laughs> Welcome to my life, man. Uh, no, but I got a glyph press pretty pretty quick and easy peasy lemon squeezy. I just don't know how All you right. power it. Why is this not working? <sighs> Seeing mental health check. Thumbs up. We're good. We angry, but we good. Clock. You know what? A little bit of marvelous. A little bit of anger is good, clay. so you can wake up in the morning and stunt on your enemies. You can't do multiple. That's nice. That's wonderful. That's great. That's awesome. You okay, mate? What are you working on? Uh, everything. You're working on everything. I feel it feels like it. I've been, I started in Psy and figured out how to make a 
gun that casts trickery infusions on things, and then I took that and I, I converted that into Terra Steel halfway, and then ran out of mana on everything there, but doesn't matter because I can't make a Terra Steel B, B because I need Energizing Steel, which I need to figure out power for, so I've just barely been working on figuring out how to get power, so I'm building Energizing Steel. Uh, and then I'll be able to, from there, I'll be able to con uh, breed a Uranium B into a Uranite B, the Uranite B with the Mana Steel B, which I think is what gets me the uh, uh, Terra ter Steel B, and then I can do that once I get enough. To anyway, I'm doing great. How you guys doing? I'm on my better, better. Right I'm moment. better. I'm having. Uh, I feel like I've made good progress this episode, and so I'm glad. there's not yeah. much of the episode left, so that that's good. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, we actually we probably will have to wind down in a few moments. Um, I I'm watching this ever so s stupidly slowly tick up. I'm One trying more. to find Ars Nouveau on the challenge list. Does it even exist? Oh, it definitely exists. Where is it? I don't know. I don't know if it exists. Um, why it not on the list I... of stuff? Yeah, I don't see it in there. Is it's it weird, under... and it's not under is progression. It... It's not miscellaneous, it doesn't look like. Huh. Um, Ours is not in the quest book. It's simply there. Oh. Oh, so I'm actually just going to straight up have to look up tutorials on how it works. Okay. What are you trying to ours? Uh, I'm trying to do ours nouveau so I can get time in a bottle. Ah, then yeah, you might need to know how it works. That's rough. That is very, well, it's a good thing we're nearing the end of our episode because it makes it easy to just say, we'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. Well, I finally got a block of energized steel. So well that is, I think, actually, I don't know, a, a pretty big deal-ish. Um, and we got Terra Steel starting, and your rose gold thing, your block, is it, uh, what, it was arcane, right? Arcane gold? Uh, arcane gold, yes. I didn't, we don't need, like, a crazy amount of it, I just figured, you know, we might as well have a little bit. where it's all plugged up, or what, it doesn't seem like we're getting any, but, oh, there it is, okay. Just, uh, just working through the hangups, you know. Just working through the hangups. So we've got lots of lead now. The lead should be solved. Uh, we have a thousand blocks of lead, so we. I've gone ahead and turned lead off. That's yeah. That's probably okay. And uh, now the arcane gold is we have 48 blocks of that, so you should be good there. Cool. So, uh, yeah, well, we want to thank our sponsor, MC Pro Hosting, providing the server that we have been doing all the mods on. If you would like to do all the mods with us, then be sure to check out the link in our description. You can save 25% off on your first month, and that will help support us in what we do, and we appreciate that. Don't forget, they can also help you out with other games, as well as uh, non-modded vanilla, adventure maps, whatever it is you want to put together, they are there for you. So we thank them, and we thank you for checking them out. Uh, we are here doing a live. You can see as it happens. Twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles and Twitch.tv slash Pizza Hut and Twitch.tv slash Zine. Throw some follows down. Doesn't cost you anything. Would love to have you come by and see all the extra content that's not uh, part of the main show. And then, uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And throw some comments on better ways to go and make everything that we're doing and better ways to be better. Yeah, seems like a good start. Anything for you guys before we go? That's all for me. All good. We're going to have to look right. up Ars Nouveau tutorials. Indeed. Bye, guys. See ya. See ya, see ya. Also, quality content. Check it out. Qualitycontent.com. I was wondering why we haven't gotten 7 million.